Wheat equation and ordered pair represent the correct vertex form and vertex form k of x is equal x squared minus 16x plus 54. We have general form of quadratic function. We need to change first this general form to vertex form. Let me remind you vertex form. k of x is equal a times x minus p to second power plus q, where p is first coordinate on vertex and q is second coordinate on vertex. In our example, before x square, we don't have any coefficient, so it's invisible always 1. So a is coefficient before x square is 1. So first, we need to change this form to that. So k of x is equal, we don't have to write the 1 because it doesn't change the value when we multiply by 1. We open parentheses, first we have x minus p to second power. So always we have to have x first. Because x minus p to second power, so when we take x minus p to second power, the square of difference, so it will be x to second power. And next what we have to take? We check the coefficient before x and we always take the half of coefficient of the expression with x. So we copy negative sign and half of 16 is x to second power we raise. And now when we raise x minus 8 to second power, let me remind you of this formula. When we raise x minus 8 to second power, so what will be? y to second power, square of difference, this is x square minus 2xy plus y square. So, x to second power, so it will be x to second power, we have here. Next we have 2 times xy, so 2 times x times 8, so it will be 16. Everything is okay, we copy sign, negative. And we have plus y square. So 8 to second power is 64. So what first we have to do? We have to subtract the 64 because we don't need the 64. We need to have only x square minus 16x. From this expression, when we raise to second power, we will have three terms. But we need only two. The last term we have to always subtract. 8 to second power is 64, so we subtract the 64 and we copy whatever we have here. We have plus 54. So let me rewrite this. k of x is equal x minus 8 to second power negative 64 plus 54, so this is negative 10. We obtain the vertex form of our equation. From this form, we can read the coordinates of vertex, wherever we subtract from x, this is our first coordinate, so it will be 8, and what else? We have negative 10. Oh, if you don't see, let me write that this is x minus 8 to second power plus, we have negative 10. Positive, negative, give me negative. So I didn't change our form. I just rewrite that this is plus negative 10. And now, from vertex 4, we see what we have here, plus q. So we have plus negative 10. So the second coordinate of vertex is negative 10. We have vertex 4. We have vertex of our equation, so now we go to our answers and we have to choose correct one. Only the last is correct. We have x minus 8 to second power minus 10 and vertex coordinates 8 and negative 10, exactly the same. So this is my solution.